so hi guys welcome back to my channel if you're new here welcome um so you click the video so you already know what kind of video this is i'm at the airport i'm finally going home to jamaica so yeah i kind of figured i'd just video my journey and everything so i'm walking to my gate right now i went through security and everything um i came early obviously because my mother is jamaican so my flight is at 3 30 right now it's a little after 12. so i'm just going to go to my my gate sit down maybe like watch some videos this is some music get something to eat and just kill some time um my back is killing me because my bag is like super heavy so i can't wait to just sit down and relax <sighs> i'm finally going home guys i'm so excited anyways um i figured i would well when i sit down i figured i would give you like a mini update on what I've been doing because I've been gone for quite some time so I'd give a mini update what I've been doing for the past few months I didn't vlog like the end of my season so I would um, talk about that a little bit and yeah so I don't why am I out of breath why am I out of breath you would never guess that I'm an athlete you know? I'm walking and I'm breathing so heavily and I don't even reach it I have like a good walk left but anyways that's basically it I hope you guys enjoyed the video um remember to subscribe if you haven't subscribed already can't okay, be watching the video you're not subscribed what so yeah <sighs> okay I'm almost at the gate I'm tired enough even when I lie. <sighs> and plus, like when I was going through security, the people don't take so long. Like, if you know that, if the people them and you know say taste it, I was a short say, you know, say you have to take off your shoes, take off your belt, um, take off your watch, take out your laptop, whatever, whatever. They might shout that from your giant line. If you hear that, people getting themselves ready now. Like, why wanna wait for you to do everything when you reach? Like I understand if you can go in, in a bag to take out the laptop to, what? to take out the laptop but if you have on a watch take it off now so that when you get there that's one less thing to do you're, you're up there holding up time like I joined the line and I promise you it felt like I was in the line for like 25 minutes and majority of that time was spent um, next in line like they were moving so slow it was actually very annoying it's a good thing i wasn't like in no rush to go anywhere oh, get empty man but not the jamaican body gone already just me one left <laughs> but yeah more people are supposed to come because once again like i said before it's pretty early so i'm not surprised that the place is empty but yeah guys, I'll see you guys when I'm boarding. <laughs> so guys, I don't know what I was talking about, but see you in. I'm bored in the plane. I just never got to say that I was going to give you like a mini life update. So, where to start? Okay, so the last vlog, the last vlog you guys saw was, I think, one of my chat meets. So, so I didn't vlog any more of my season because it was horrible. And I was like, yeah, I'm not wasting my time videoing this. So, it didn't go well, but. You know, that was the end of my junior season. I have one more year to go, one more year of track. So we'll see how, we'll see how this one goes. 
but anyways i mean apart from not getting the results i wanted i did enjoy this season to be honest it was just fun it wasn't it wasn't the meets weren't as crowded and the the normal energy wasn't there so we had to work or not work but we had to you know put in a little more effort into you know cheering on teammates bringing the vibes bringing the energy and everything so i thought that was really fun so yeah didn't get the results i wanted but i mean i do have another year to see how things go so i'm not as disappointed as i was um like say me when it just happened i'm kind of cool off now so that's that so i've been here the past six weeks meaning after school was done after my season was done um i've seen an internship where i was a research assistant i was a little reluctant to take it to be honest because i was like oh my gosh six weeks out of my summer break i need to rest but i knew this would look good on my application so i decided okay i'm gonna do it so basically what the research was about um it was studying movement patterns using a motion capture system and i'm going to like insert a clip of kind of what what we did which i thought was, it was i can't even explain to you how cool it was just seeing the behind the scenes of a research or of a study you know you got to hook up the people then with the markers and then you got to see them moving and you got to see it on the computer screen and it was it was like a movie i'm going to like insert the clip so basically in this clip that i'm inserting what i was doing i was um just going over the, the recorded video of the person's moving and I was filling gaps and just ensuring that the markers were correctly labeled that was the only clip I could get at the time yeah and I think there's a video of me with the markers on too because when we were when we were doing like some initial run-throughs we used ourselves as subjects just to ensure that there were no errors or just to fix any glitches before we actually brought in real subjects so i'm going to insert a clip of me in the markers you can't really see it from head to toe i think you can only see from like the chest up but it's a full body thing so the markers are all over my body so there was that it was six weeks like i said already um we went into the lab we had workshops we also had some GRE classes and then at the end, which was on Wednesday, today's Friday. So on Wednesday we had a presentation where we had to basically just talk about everything we did in the study um, and what the results were and yada yada yada. And then for a weekend, I think it was last weekend, I volunteered with a PT at a chat meet. It was a two-day meet where he basically where we basically set up a tent and we're providing free care to the athletes and some parents um i guess it's just for publicity really um just to get the name of the company out there so it, nobody was charged it was free and whatever, whatever it was a good experience too it was nice to like see what it was like or what it's like at a at an american track meet because what i'm used to is High school Jamaican track meets. I've never actually been to a high school American track meet, so it was it was cool to see that. Um, and I guess one thing I noticed was how invested the parents are. Like it's actually crazy because I know, but I know like I think people in Jamaica kind of just send them picnic or track meets. Well, I mean there were a few pa parents who would stay and watch. But I feel like for the majority, you just send your child to track meet and when they come home, they say, oh, you do, you get the medal, you win nothing, where you run. But no, these people stayed and they came to the meet both days. Um, they brought their children to the tent. You know, I noticed a lot of persons actually had a lot of stuff going on with them. Saw a lot of knee injuries, um, shin splints, stuff like that. Yeah, this guess what I did. I went to the gym a couple times. I don't know who I was fooling. Cause I went like two times one week, then I didn't go the next week. Then I went like once the next week. I really thought I was doing something, but I really wasn't. 
majority of my six weeks was just going to my internship, going to the lab, you know, doing the workshops. Yeah, now the time is up and I'm going home. I really want to get some good content while I'm there. Not just to post, but just for memories. Because normally I take a lot of pictures and videos so that when I'm like here and I'm homesick, I watch them, but I feel like the videos will really do it for me too. So, yeah. That's my little update. Nothing too fancy, but I figured I'd let you guys know because I've been MIA for months. So, yeah. Okay, now I'll see you guys when I'm boarding. Bye. Okay guys, so I lied. Um, I need to use the bathroom, but I also want something to eat. Um, so I think I'm going to use the bathroom first. I don't really know where it is, but I think I see it. So I'm walking to it right now. I don't know what I'll get to eat, but it's gonna be something cheap. Um, so let's see, this is the bathroom. I figured I'd want something to eat when I was here. Even though I did have breakfast, you know, but I'm hungry now because I had breakfast pretty early. That was not the bathroom. Okay, so we're turning around. I'm going to have to walk all the way back. Oh, because gate 28 is like it's like all the way at the end because the last gate is like gate 30 and I'm at 28 so I'm like all the way at the end so I'm gonna have to walk all the way back to where the, the food stuff are um, and I don't know why I can't find the bathroom that's probably like all the way at the top too and suddenly I have to like bring all my my luggage with me I'm gonna tell them if I'm before it's so my bag every already so I feel logo logo with it no forgot the bag oh see so the bag's in here all right people BRB people time to time to look for something to eat no it's right now it's 110 boarding is not until 245 so I have time but um, I need to figure out where the food is and thing but Line a little long. I don't know if it's for food or what, but these lines are. We we'll watch them bungle up. Ah. Anyway. Oh no, this is for a flight. No, I wouldn't go. If we ever see how much people at a gate here, I don't know how one plane I go fit all of them people here. Oh my pass now. What am I go? Oh, the Mago Florida. Pretty cool. I don't know if I can't see. You want to see the one that got people behind me? No. Anyway, I don't know. I might just get a snack. But I feel like these places always have the snacks at some ridiculous prices. Just try airport today, no? I also don't want to walk too far to get something. Yeah, I'm thinking to just buy chips and a juice, to be honest. So I'm going to turn back and go look for them pee here out. And it's especially because you can't bring water from outside. And I don't really want to buy them. Expensive water. 
So you see. Okay, so we're going somewhere else. I looked at the prices and I said no. But take up the Gatorade and she said it was four dollars twenty nine. I just put it right back. Then I look at the chips and it was it was the popcorn or anything. I don't know if you know that, but that's like one of my favorite chips. Five dollars something. Why would I be spending about ten dollars on chips and juice? Are you crazy? Anyway, but yes, I'm see what we can get. Alright guys, so we up getting this a strawberry acai refresher from Starbucks. And then I got some I don't even know what this name, but it's some pastry. It's like a swirly swirly one. Um, yeah. So, I mean, the things in this still kind of expensive, but this was less expensive than the five dollar chips. And I don't know, this it just looked good, so I decided to get it. Um, I took a sip of it when I was on my way and it was good so i'm going to just sit down and eat this now right now it's it's 1 36 so i still have a good amount of time so i'm just going to eat and watch some videos on youtube okay you'll actually see me next time no what am i saying next time you'll actually see me like boarding the plane <laughs> all right bye Okay guys, so I landed, I got my bags and everything and I'm now outside, you guys can barely see me. But now I'm waiting on my ride to get here so if I can finally go home and shower, get something to eat and go to bed. Um, but yeah, today was a day, but I'll tell you guys about it when I get home. But we are here! Yay! <laughs> Good morning, guys. It's the next day. Oh my gosh, that's me. Anyways, <laughs> it's the next day. When I got in, I kind of just had something to eat, watch some videos, and then went straight to bed. So, I'm ending the video today. Guys, a lot happened yesterday. Well, not like a lot. That's not true. Not a lot. But yesterday was yesterday was kind of frustrating because the flight got delayed by like three hours. When we finally got to board, we were sitting down in the plane for a whole long. People, you know, so they were just waiting on one person that whole time. Everybody sit down in there cussing, cussing, trying to find out why we're not going out yet, why we're not moving, whatever, whatever. Only for them to come on and say they were waiting on one person. So then, you know, so everybody said cuss but i mean even though i was like really annoyed that part it was what <laughs> that part was kind of funny when everybody started cussing and whatever but yeah i didn't really get to do much unpacking 
I kind of just took out the clothes that I needed to shower. Oh yeah, I showered last night too. I needed, I took out the clothes that I needed to shower, like my toothbrush, toothpaste, all that, and my my face stuff. I showered, washed my face, brushed my teeth, and then I went to bed. That's all that happened. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Subscribe, like the video, comment down below. If you made it this far, comment down a butterfly so I know that you watched the whole other video. And yeah, stay tuned for the other vlogs that are going to come soon. Yes, tell a friend to tell a friend to watch my video, to like it, to comment. And to share it with somebody else. The time is very hot. It's hotter than I thought it was going to be, to be honest. Like I know, I know Jamaica hot enough, but is it because New Jersey was hot? So I'm thinking, okay, I'm kinda I'm ready for the Jamaica heat. No people. I was not. My face is right, breaking out. I mean, it was breaking out a little before I came, but some of like the bumps are fresh. And I know it's because I was traveling. So hopefully it goes away in a few days. Anywho, this is the end of the vlog. Hope you guys enjoyed it. Don't forget to like, comment, share, and most importantly, subscribe.